fine. And we're live. Hi, everybody. They got me hosting now because, uh, you know, I guess that's what happens. I don't know. I really haven't been paying any attention. As you can see, things are. You're off to a great start, Corey. Hey, you know what, Jordan? Just shut up, okay? So we're here for another episode of Wrestling with Trivia. I'm here. And uh, I'm really excited, and it's a title match that isn't my title match, but it is my title, Jordan. Uh, I'm sorry, I was falling asleep during your intro. Anyway, mean Gene. we're really happy to be here because this is for the WWT Championship, and it is for uh, is for all the marbles, as they say, which apparently are on. Jordan. And for some pride too. Right now. Pride, pride is on the line as well. It's yeah, pride is always on the line. That is that is that is first and foremost. But yes, it is for the title. I am your host today, Corey C4, and I am going to introduce to you today's <laughs> combatants. Today, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, this match is scheduled for 20 questions with a possible tiebreaker should it be necessary and it is for as i said the wrestling with trivia world heavyweight championship first off the challenger wearing a uh a, 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 what, what we got wearing there today shout it out wearing a tech tech for life t-shirt representing my boys mike monroe and tc reed there you go, right there. It's the challenger, the one and only Steve Mesa. All right. Steve Mesa. All right. And up uh and then here is the champion Jordan. So thanks, thanks for the intro there, Corey. Yeah, no uh, problem. Unlike some previous All right, let's get on with the question. No, 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 no. I will get my time or I will boot you and we'll find a different host. Unlike previous champions, I'm going to be honorable. Corey, you were a great champion. I look forward to facing you one day. And you know what, Steve? I'm not overlooking you either. You might be the one that has to defend against Corey one day. I look forward to the match. Look forward to you hosting, Corey. May the questions proceed in this championship bout. See, that, that's an honorable champion, Corey. Take some notes. Uh, that that is that's that's honorable. Okay, I'll give. Oh, you and you didn't ask about my T-shirt, but, uh, but Brian, that's the Steve only Steve. one I'm gonna give to you because the rest you're gonna have to earn, and uh, you're gonna have to earn your way to keep that title. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Question number one: We're taking the shades off so I can see. Number one: Who challenged Greg the Hammer Valentine for the Intercontinental Championship at WrestleMania one? Who was the opponent of Greg Valentine? WrestleMania 1, Madison Square Garden. Got it. All, yes, right. Sir. All set. All right, Jordan, what do you got? Was it the Junkyard Dog? Steve. JYD, baby. That's a point for each. There we go. We're off with a tie. 1-1. One, one. Well done, gentlemen. Next question, number two. Along with Bam Bam Bigelow, who was the first member of the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase's Million Dollar Corporation? Along with Bammer, who else was there with the uh, good old Ted DiBiase? I'm going with an educated guess. And Jordan's in. Same. Going with an, going with an educated guess, not 100% sure on this. All right. Does that mean you're in, Steve? Yeah, I'm in. Let's see what you got. Steve. Would it be King Kong Bundy? Jordan. Uh, the man I stalked at a SmackDown taping once. Tatanka? Both of you are incorrect. The second member, the first other member, Nikolai Volkov. Oh, okay. Was, was in the Million Dollar Corporation. You'll remember he had a, a scent. He had a, like a faux Million Dollar Man outfit, and it just had like a cent sign instead of a dollar sign. Fair, yes. fair. I, do, I do not remember. So, <laughs> wearing a suit, usually yeah. most of the time. Yeah, it, was, it, was one of those, it was one of those like uh, tuxedo shirt kind of things. It was fun. 
Uh, let's see here. Number three, gentlemen, tied still at one and one. Who were the members of the short lived tag team in 1995? The Allied Powers. Who were those members of that tag team, the Allied Powers? And I'll be in this, I gotta write it down. One second. I'll take your time. Write it down. All right. All right, Jordan. What you got? Are we talking Luger and Bulldog? Lex Luger versus Bulldog. Steve. Luger and Bulldog, baby. That's another point for each. Yeah, we're still tied now, at two to two. It was indeed Lex Luger and the British Bulldog, Davy Boy Smith. Of course, Luger would end up uh, dipping out on that tag team. And heading over to Monday Nitro on that. Uh, that Wearing the, uh, the Seinfeld movie. pirate shirt on his debut. <laughs> yes, that's right. I, and I was there. I was, I was there. <laughs> was at the, not in 95, but I was there at the site. I did the whole oh, like, oh, nice. thing to this. <laughs> was it Mall of America? <laughs> yes, sir. Mall of America. Admiring the, admiring the Mall of America. All right. Now, here we go. Number four. Where did Diamond Dallas Page? start his wrestling career as a manager which organization which promotion which territory if you will diamond dallas page of course now a uh, mentor of, of many very fine man and uh yes, I've, I've had a personal phone call with him just saying as some high he is a wonderful person he's a good friend of friends shout out to ddp But who, or where, should I say, did he start his career as a manager? Fresh out of Fort Myers, Florida. I was hoping that was the question. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm in. Yeah? All right, what do you got, Jordan? I just went with AWA. Steve? I also went for AWA. Look at you two gentlemen with another point each. We are in a dead heat right now. Doing very well. Diamond Dallas Page started in the AWA towards the end of that whole run uh, as a manager named Diamond Dallas Page. All right, moving on. Number five. On a 1992 edition of Saturday Night's Main Event, Brett the Hitman Hart, newly crowned WWF champion, defended his title for the very first time against who? In. Oh, screw you, Steve. Hold on. I need a second. <laughs> and I, I just got off a, new, a Saturday night's main event VHS binge. Oh, look at you. So you are definitely all in on this one. 100%. A VHS binge? Jesus. <laughs> That's all, right, um, 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 all right. All right, Jordan, let's see what you got. I just went with my boy, who is Sean Michaels. Steve. I'm going to say that would be his opponent later on in the month, but it was actually Papa Shango. It was the voodoo master, Papa Shango. Steve moves into the lead four to three. Thank you, VHS. Well done, Steve. Yeah. Good job, VHS watching. All right, all right. Yeah. Jordan's title currently in jeopardy. Here we go. It's, uh, it's Thank you, host. Now, boys. Let's get on to number six. Uh, what was the final ECW match in the ECW arena? Arena. Arena. <laughs> the final match of Extreme Championship Wrestling in the famous ECW arena. What, who participated? It was, I'll give you, it's a triple threat match. Who participated in that match? No help for, like, a vent? Uh, all I would got from my research was what the, what the match it was uh, in the final. It was December 23rd was the date. I have a feeling it was just a random show. Like a farewell kind of thing. Triple I, don't, I don't know. I mean, it may have been put on a on a video. I am not sure though. I I, I understand. I understand. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not got something, but I don't. Know. I have no faith. Yeah, I, I'm not 100 percent sure. I'm just gonna. Yeah, I'm. Mean, I'm already. I wrote something down, but it's not. Okay. Well, it is a toughie. I didn't know it either until I looked it up. Obviously. So we'll go with Jordan. What do you got? 
Uh, I went in Just Incredible, Sandman, Tommy Dreamer. Steve? I went with Sandman, uh, Terry Funker, and uh, Shane Douglas. Jordan was the closest. You both got Sandman. Jordan, it was Just Incredible, Sandman, and the king of old school, Steve Curry. That was on my mind, too. And I was like, ah, shit. I swear to God, that was on my mind. All right. Steve Carino, by the way, is a nice shout out. Uh, has some of the greatest freaking coffee in the world. And <laughs> I highly recommend you get it from squaredcirclecafe.com. Circle, there you go, Steve. That's a free one for you, pal. And that was a point for correct person of the three way, right? Uh, so yeah, yeah, absolutely. That was a point. That's the way it goes, right? Okay, so number seven. Here we go. What event? Did Vader debut in the WWF in 1996? Yep. Jordan? Uh, it was the first one, Rumble. Yep. Royal Rumble. It was indeed the Royal Rumble. We have, this is uh, five to four, still one ahead, Steve. We are almost halfway through. It's been a nice, tight one. A nice, tight one. Hey, Number eight. Hey, so. <laughs> Who was Kurt Angle's first WWE pay-per-view opponent? Very first time Olympic gold medalist Kurt Angle was on a pay-per-view. Who did he wrestle? Got it. Give me a second. I got it. <clears throat> okay. All right, Steve. That would be Sean Stasiak, a.k.a. Meat. Jordan. I have the same thing, Stasiak Meat. Look at you, with both of you with, this, with two names, and you both get one point, though, but you're both correct. Six to five now. It was Sean Stasiak. Uh, never really quite caught his footing, did he? I think he, he blew his own opportunity at least once. Yeah, yeah, he, he we kind of couldn't get out of his own way, too. Yeah. Anyway, moving on from Sean Stasiak, which is, seems to be the way yeah. it goes. Who season. never held a tag title with Kevin Nash? I'm going to give you some names here. It's, 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 a, it's a multiple choice. Say it again, though, who never did? <laughs> who never did. Okay. So some names who did not win any tag title from any organization with Kevin Nash. Shawn Michaels, Scott Hall, Sean Waltman, Diamond Dallas Page. Which one of those gentlemen did not win a tag team title with Kevin Nash? Big Sexy. Okay. All right, Steve. I'm going with Sean Waltman. Jordan. I agree. Waltman, Xbox Six. It was X. Pizak, the one and only. Another point each here. Steve's still one point ahead. We're going to move on. We're halfway through. That whole living on a prayer thing that Jordan likes to say. <laughs> <laughs> how, many, how many times has Mike Rotunda held the WWE Tag Team Championships? Mike Rotunda, Irwin R. Scheister. How many times did he hold the WWE Tag Team Championship? I told you guys I was going to get some good ones for you today. I was going to throw them out there. Are we ready? Anybody ready? Hey, right, I'm ready. Yeah. He's in. You're in, Jordan? Yeah. All right, go for it. Let's see what you got, Jordan. I just went with my favorite number three. Steve? I went with three. You're both wrong. It was five. Five ah. tag team championships from uh, How many Wyatt's many many daddy many? and Bo Dallas's and uh, uh, other children that aren't on WWE television. <laughs> All right. Okay, here we go. Here's some MLW stuff, like I promised. Who was the first MLW World Heavyweight Champion after the revamp? When it's when it started up again, who was their first world heavyweight champion? Uh, 
Jordan Zen. Jordan Zen. He's pondering, rubbing that beard, getting some luck. I want that point back. I gotta get back to that tie so I can get back to that lead. Uh, okay, I think I got it. All right, I'm in. All right, Jordan, what do you got? Swerve, Swerve Shane Strickland. Steve? He got it right. I put Jacob Fatu. Oh, we're back to a tie. Jacob Fatu is currently the world heavyweight champion in major. And he beat, he beat Matt Riddle for the title. Just Yeah, hell, Contra. Oh, sure. Uh, we, uh, yes, indeed. <laughs> Swerve, Shane, and Strickland. Now, uh, now uh, I, Isaiah, what's his, uh, what's his last name? Isaiah on there? Scott. Scott. Swerve, but he still Swerve, though, so that's good. Tie. 7-7, seven, seven. JPO, Steve, back dead heat. Here we go. We are back into a real, real game now, boys. Here we are with number 12. Who was Shinsuke Nakamura's final one-on-one -on -one opponent before leaving New Japan Pro Wrestling to go to the WWE and NXT? And Not his last match, his last one-on-one -on -one match. Let's give a New Japan question uh, to the New Japan guy. <laughs> All right, um, I'm just, yeah, I was got to educate guess. All right, Steve, what you got? That would be AJ Styles for the Intercontinental Championship, Wrestle Kingdom. George. Well, George he seems Wrestle very Wrestle. confident. I just went with Okada. It was indeed the phenomenal one. Mm -hmm. AJ Styles, Steve's back in the lead, eight to seven. The champ that runs the camp is here. Versus Shinsuke Nakamura. Great match. Their best match a ever. Fantastic match. Their best match. Yeah. It was their WrestleMania match. They, they had to live up to that hype. It couldn't. It was already mythical. That match was already on another level. You couldn't really take it. Yeah, Mania was too long. They were both faces. That didn't help either. Yeah. I mean, the heel, I think they should have done the heel turn before Mania and then for Nakamura. But the ending was the ending. Let's get on to the other questions. Here we go, number 13, lucky number 13. Who won the 2003 Royal Rumble match? Who was the winner? The final man. The last combatant, the last man standing. In. Who pointed at the sign? Were they pointing at the sign in 2003? I don't think they started pointing at the sign until after 2010. Oh, wow. Well, there you go. So he didn't point at shit. But he won the match. All right. <laughs> yeah. Jordan looking to his right, hoping that the answer was there. No, I just, I'm, I'm sorry. I get literally 02 is like, I do it every one by heart up to like 02. <laughs> yeah, I said 2003 then. I, I, that's why I didn't put out an answer <laughs> quickly. <laughs> uh, I know this is wrong. Um, That's some good guesses before. Mm -hmm. All right. Are you in? Sure. <laughs> Steve, what do you got? That would be the Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar. Oh, Jordan. I, I pulled out of my ass, Brock Lesnar. This is Brock Lesnar. Yes, it was. Okay. That's a big thing at the time. Of course, he would go on to uh, win the WWE Championship from Kurt Angle at WrestleMania. I couldn't Almost picture... killing himself in, in the process. I couldn't picture who was holding the title with him and Angle. That's why I was like, wait, maybe he was champion already. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, Steve's still in the lead, though, with nine. Jordan at eight. Here we are, number 14. Who did The Undertaker defeat in a casket match? At SummerSlam 1995. Let's take your master of the casket match. And who did he beat in SummerSlam 95? We're about to come up to SummerSlam, so I threw a little SummerSlam flavor in there. Or SummerFest, as uh, Jeremy Fitton likes to call it. I actually, I actually named one of my trivia called SummerFest. I actually called it SummerFest on behalf of that. Well done. I'm not confident either. Right. Well, let's see how unconfident you are, Jordan. What do you got? Kama? And Steve? I put Kamala. It is Kama. Fuck. It is indeed Kama. Damn it. The uh, ultimate <laughs> machine. 
took on The Undertaker and lost uh, in a casket match. Back in, baby. We are tied nine to nine as we go into number 15. This is getting very, very interesting, gentlemen. This title match is, uh, this is, this is a fight. This is a battle. I'm very happy with this. I, uh, if, if something had to come out of my loss, I'm glad it was this. There you go. Some humbleness, Jordan. Thank being you. Corey. Out, being a little humble, learning lessons. <laughs> number 15. The face of SummerSlam. Speaking of SummerSlam, what was the main event of SummerSlam 2005? The last match, the main event. SummerSlam 2005. I think I got it. I'm not sure, confident on it. Uh, okay, sure, I got something. All right, Steve, what do you got? I've got Shawn Michaels versus Hulk Hogan. Jordan. I went with Triple H and Kali. It was the Heartbreak Kid versus the Immortal Hulk Hogan. <laughs> Sean doing a little bit of heel work for uh, for Hogan and really having fun overselling during that match. It's because Sean was fun, so I wiped it from my mind. Uh, yes, yes. So, Steve, <laughs> back in the lead, 10-9. to 9. Here we go, number 16. During the November 26, 1988 edition of World Championship Wrestling, who did the Road Warriors attack with a spike, turning the popular tag team heels? Go to hell, Corey. Uh <laughs> this was a big moment. Very violent for uh, for a show that was on uh, at six oh five Eastern. Shocking. The FCC, in fact, was not very pleased with it. And the Road Warriors attacked someone with a spike. Okay, I had a joke answer. Techno Team two thousand, but I have a real answer now. Okay, do you got an answer, Steve? I got it. I got a answer. Give me one right, so good. second. Okay. Okay, one second. Steve, what do you got? Uh, I'm not confident, but I feel like it might have been the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. Jordan. The I went with the tag team, Rock and Roll Express. It was the super genius himself, the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes, baby. Yes. Steve, <laughs> good job. I feel the title. Even further into the lead now with 11. Left and die. I'm gonna miss you. Quick, uh, not down. Quick, little, quick little side note. That was my very first experience with professional wrestling. Was that moment? I saw that moment on television, and I was hooked ever since. So, thank you, Dusty. And the it's a biased question. <laughs> biased question is the floor. He made. It was made in Florida, baby. He was made here in Championship Wrestling in Florida, baby. Can, can we deduct a point for that horrible impression? I was playing. It was all right. <laughs> okay, number 17. Here we go. Who did Eddie Guerrero defeat in a hair versus hair match at Bash at the Beach, 1998? And <laughs> God damn it. I lost the title. Um, I have a guess. Sure. Ready? Jordan, what do you got? Was it Chavito, Chavo? Steve? It was Chavo. It was definitely Chavito. Chavo. Cut his own damn hair. That's right. <laughs> what question are we on? Uh, we are on number 18, and uh, Steve is still uh, two points ahead. There's a chance. There's a chance. Just get these wrong, Steve. You got to get this one, though. And he's got to get them wrong. Get them wrong. Gotta, you guys got to, yeah, that's, that's not over. It's not over. You can still kick out at two and three quarters. All right. All, All right, right. Here we go. There's number no. 18. Number 18. Who did Rey Mysterio defeat for his very first WCW Cruiserweight Championship? The legendary. The now there's legendary. less hope now. There's, there's less hope. Uh <laughs> 
Ray Mastrio, as Santino likes to call him. Who did he beat to be the first cruiserweight champion or his very first cruiserweight title? Not 100%, but I'm in. All right, well, we're both in. Steve's in. Jordan, you're in. Here we go, Steve. What do you got? Uh, the man of a thousand holes, Dean Malenko. Jordan. Was it the juice, Hooventude? It was the man of a thousand holds, Dean. Iceman Malenko. Oh, I think that's, uh, this is the rest of this is just formalities here, gentlemen. But uh, there's that pride thing we were talking about, right? There's that. So anyway, number 19. How many times was Steve Austin WCW United States Champion? Who gives a shit? One. Who gives How a many shit? times was he U.S. Champ? I don't even care. Uh, yeah. And Jordan? Uh, am I in or do you want my answer? Oh, are you in? Yeah. No, what's the answer? Um, I'm my favorite number three, so. <laughs> All right, Steve. I went with three as well. <laughs> no, he was a two-time United States champion, stunning Steve Austin. Trick question. Felt like two was too low to even bother asking. <laughs> All right, here we go. The final question before we crown a brand new. Shut up! Don't don't do some spoiler warning. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. Who were the four original, the very first, the very first four original members of the Bullet Club? Uh, oh, look, another New Japan question. I only got one MLW question, but two New Japan questions. Okay. I put two freaking New Japan questions in there, Jordan. Yeah, so two New Japans it. for the New Japan guy. Yeah, One hey, LW hey, question. And a bunch of other wrestling, of honor questions. The wrestling no guy. Man. Hey, you're the champion. Hey, who's humble now, huh? Yeah, it's not so good. I have, I, I have a conspiracy now. Yeah, oh, yeah, I bet you do. Hold on, let me answer this question. <laughs> I knew you'd get it, Steve. I wrote this one just for you, pal. I knew I didn't go. Oh, thanks for his the conspiracy. <laughs> okay, I'm probably wrong because I mean, I'm, all right, George, what do you got? Uh, the Bucks, Fale, Tama, and AJ. Wow, no, you got one of them, or you got two of them. Uh, uh with Steve, what is it? What's so I, I believe, hopefully, if my new band doesn't show too much, I believe it would be Balak Fale, uh, Carl Anderson, the Machine Gun, Tama Tama, and Chris Debit. That was exactly correct, ladies and gentlemen. Your winner and new wrestling with trivia heavyweight champion of the world. How did the title change to the old? <laughs> See, that's 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 real champions. Hold that title. Yeah, they love the gaudy uh, spinner title. Yeah, hey, okay. Hey, you know what? It's Highly considered the, the foam ugliest one, right? title of all time. It's better than the foam one. I'll say so, this. I, I say this. I, don't have, I didn't have to buy it. <laughs> uh, uh, going. Legit, that's true. He's, he's, he's got one up on both. Okay, I'll, I'll let you have that. Mine was on clearance when Toys R Us. I'll let you have that one. Well, that's it, folks. That's another one in the books. we got a brand new champion. What comes after this, we will let you know at a future date. Jordan. I'm very sorry and very happy at the same time. Thank well, you. congratulations. You. What do you got to say, Jordan? Go ahead. No, I'm just saying. I mean, me and you have the same record as champion. So good luck, Steve, on getting past one defense. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, it's only been one defense, uh, the one defense kind of title. It's just hey, if, I do, if I do get past one defense, I should be automatically entered to the Wrestling with Trivia Hall of Fame. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, obviously. <laughs> Me being the very first, I'm already a guaranteed first ballot Hall of Famer. So that's just, that's how you go. Anyway, that being said, your very first champion is going to say congratulations to your brand new champion, Steve Mesa and Jordan from Kick Rocks. Ladies and gentlemen, enjoy your evening. Enjoy your day whenever you're watching this. I just hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much. And uh, we'll see you next time. And I just booted him. So that was Corey C for Steve Mesa. Congratulations on your 
on your win. Uh, you're the champ now. Uh, hold on to it while you can, though, because you know from per first fact that we've got some highly competitive people here. Uh, we got Wheels, we got Dexter, we got Herman, uh, and myself, too. I got to come back for revenge. So Yes, I, I, I'm prepared. I'm, wel I'm welcoming all challengers. As long as I got the title, I'm fine. I'm fine. Hopefully, my fortune shall continue, hopefully. Let's just... Hopefully, God hears. <laughs> fight, Mesa, fight. Fight, Mesa, fight. <laughs> All right, for Steve, for J.O., thanks for checking out some wrestling with trivia. And as always, keep it kayfabe.